Traveling around the world, especially in areas affected by war and natural disaster, we see many vulnerable people. But what can we do to help, not just with short-term relief, but with their long-term needs? Poverty alleviation is one answer. For an investment of less than $100, we've been able to start businesses for vulnerable widows that will provide for their family, send their kids to school, and better the communities they live in. About 20 years ago, I went on a trip to Southeast Asia. In general, the culture of that part of the world is much more accepting of sex trafficking. One night, one of the men on our team couldn't sleep and he went for a late night walk. On his walk, he was solicited by some very young girls. The next day, he told us about this with tears in his eyes. And I began to weep uncontrollably for 30 minutes. I never do that kind of thing. I just knew that it was the grief of the Lord being expressed through me. And I also knew that Mercy Works was going to be involved in this issue. And we have ever since. Since that time, Mercy Works has helped people who are at risk for trafficking in various ways. For example, we helped start a business in Southeast Asia with 26 vulnerable women. Over time, all 26 of these women have come to know the Lord, and they have good, safe employment. Mercy Works has also been involved in animal bank programs in places such as Zimbabwe and the Philippines. This went well, but we were still not satisfied. We wanted something that could be easily multiplied in developing nations. About five years ago, we started helping people in a more intentional way, especially widows. We started giving them micro-grants. The average is only $100 to help them start a business that's doable for them and their children. And today, we have seen hundreds of people in 12 different nations make that glorious climb out of poverty into transformation. It's just been wonderful to see that. It started in 2015, after a major earthquake rocked the beautiful nation of Nepal. Mercy Works sent teams to help clear the rubble and rebuild. One of our teams met a widow there. She don't know how to feed her seven children. They used to have assets that she can earn, but then the earthquake just destroyed everything. We offered to give her a capital of $100 for micro-business and uh, she started a kind of business that's uh, chat party and she did good. Her store has really grown up much, much bigger than what it used to be. A year ago, she was able to buy a cow. One of her children is tending that cow and they are producing milk every day and sell milk. So they have income and they also have nutritious milk to drink every morning so they are, all of them are becoming healthy and healthier. Currently this ministry has expanded into 12 nations, places like Azerbaijan, Pakistan, Guatemala, the Philippines, the Bahamas, and Zambia. And more nations are still asking for us to come. It's amazing to me what just a small gift of about $100, some business advice, and a lot of prayer can do to transform a person's life. This year, we're hoping to expand into India, Uganda, and South Sudan. Right now, this ministry is like a tree, a strong, healthy tree. But with your help, we're hoping that it will become a forest filled with people who have been able to leave poverty and hopelessness behind.